Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the battery or remove your battery for your Acer Aspire V7 series laptop. This one is a model ZQK model and those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop right on the bottom of the sticker. And right in here on the barcode on the top it will tell you V7-481-6682. But this applies for any v Aspire V7 series laptop. So if you want to replace the battery, it doesn't have to be the same exact model. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, so I'm going to keep this video really short and quick. And I'm going to give you a really good tip how to charge your battery, your initial battery charge, how it should be. Because people make a really big mistake once they put the new battery in and they start using it like uh, all the battery they had. First thing first, you want to power off. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set. These are one of the best screwdrivers I've been coming along with. These are S2 class steel bed. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro version, they will come with a opening tool and pliers and tweezers. But if you don't, grab the basic tool set and grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. I'll leave the link in my video description. Now down here on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna start removing all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and start removing all of them, even the one in the middle. Keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my video, if my video helping you guys to do your own service, upgrade or replacing parts, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it and it will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your comments in the video area. Once you remove all the screws and if there's a screw that is not coming out, you can use a strong magnet and put the screw right there and pull it out. All right, once you remove all the screws, double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Now you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. Just squeeze it somewhere over there, about one or two millimeters. Now you want to just twist it around, you want to hear some clicking, that's what you want to hear. Just twist around, go all around towards the right side and just pretty much wiggling it around. Right and left side, this side is already coming up so pretty much I'm going to stop there, lift it up, wiggle it around and move it around and pull it out. So this is the bottom cover and the battery should be right in front of you right in here. So we're going to remove the battery so there's only one screw in the middle that holds the battery in and there's one connector. So we're going to pull this connector back gently and it should come out evenly backwards. So there's the battery disconnected. We're going to remove one screw in the middle and we're going to try lifting up the battery just like that, front end up, and it will come up just like that. The model for this one is an AP13B3K. So I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase. Let's say you bought the new one, imagine this new one. So you want to put the bottom side, these two hinges right in here, right under the palm rest right there. And you want to bring it down towards the casing, put it right there, make sure the cables are not in the way right there. And put the single screw that holds it in place, tighten it up, grab the jack, make sure this side of the jack which is pure plastic is facing upward. On the other side there will be a pin exposed, so the exposed pin has to be on the bottom, this side up. You want to bring it evenly towards the jack and you just want to push it in towards the inside the jack right there. Now once the battery is in there, we're going to put the bottom cover on. And now this is the important part I'm going to explain. We're going to start putting all the bottom screws first, doesn't matter which order you start, just put all the screws in. And you don't want to power on the laptop right away, you want to just plug in the charger on a office state mode. You want to put the charger and leave it charging for 5 hours at least. Not two hours or three, leave it for five to six hours charging while it's powered off. Because that way it doesn't stress the battery because that's the initial charge. You don't want to start using it on the uh, little bit of charge that it comes from the factory. 
you want to charge it completely while the laptop is powered off. So after six hours of charging, you can unplug the charger and turn it on and use it on a normal use. Do not put games or anything stressing it. Just use it normally for three to four hours, whatever, how long it lasts you. So let that battery to drain completely, uh, nicely, slowly. Don't force it. Once it's uh, battery is drained, power off the laptop and leave it charging for another three to four hours. And after that, you just can use it as you wish. Doesn't matter charging, discharging the way you want it. That initial discharging and charging while it's off, it's very important. As always, I hope you guys like this video and helps you guys out to do your own upgrade for the battery for your Aspire V7 series. If you guys did like it, please click that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I always try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.